Kylie Jenner. I don't know if they're actually her nipples, probably, because I don't know what else these people do with their money. So she probably went and got this made. You know how she does the candles? Smells like vagina. my vagina. Definitely smells like my pussy. Up close titty shot. And it says in the caption, free the nipple. This is coming from someone who I was in Playboy in a whole feature about free expression. So there's a part of me that's like, I respect it. Then there's the other part I'm already hearing from my listeners. Is this advancing women really? Like, is this for attention? Ask me about my week. I'm going to give you my thoughts as a woman, but I'm also going to give you my thoughts as an attorney. Yes, let's go. Yeah, girl, you do you. It's sensationalism. Right in the cynical vibe. Oh, I love it. I'm sure you do. <laughs> you have seconds to capture someone's attention. You want the legal on it? Yeah. This must be a joke. In 1964, there's a famous Supreme Court case. The government can only limit your expression in certain situations. And one of the places they can do that is with respect to, quote, hardcore pornography. The Supreme Court justice is famous for having said, I know it when I see it. It's subjective what's obscene. I'm going to take the Kylie Jenner thing somewhere else. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. We're also in a culture that we're so spoiled that we've run out of things almost to complain about. So we come up with all this stuff. I'd like to give you all a list of my trigger warnings. Especially about being a woman, suppressed, under the patriarchy's thumb, and not being able to make choices in this and that, right? And while it's certainly not perfect. What, like it's hard? I look at this. Think about countries in this world right now. A woman literally would be shot. I'm not even exaggerating and not to be dark would be shot dead in the street for that. So oh gosh, you're right. Right. Yeah. I think about yeah. that and I'm like, man, whether you love it or hate it, at least we are in a place where if that's how you want to express yourself, we have that privilege and that right here. There are some countries where literally women are stoned to death in the street for stepping out of line for an affair, whatever it is. Let's have some perspective here when we are complaining about how women in this country have it so hard. What a beautiful perspective. Thank you for that. Look what we have. We have the ability to put up a nip shot if we really feel so compelled to do so. Gratitude.